Welcome back to Let's Play Toonstruck, and, and we're here with Fluffy Bun Bun. Hello, Fluffy. Oh, boy! My special friends are back! Well, I really you never know, went anywhere. If I ever get like that, shoot me. Oh, don't worry, Flux. I'm sure that Christopher Lloyd has a weapon in his jacket just for that special occasion. I guess Nefarious' attacks have you pretty shaken up. Golly, yes! But it gets much, much worse! It does? You see, some bunny gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. But I prefer popcorn! What did I do to deserve this? I'm just a perky, cute little bunny with shiny soft fur. Why me? Why me? Right. Well, let's finish the icebreakers. Considering what Nefarious has done to this meadow, I guess we should be thankful he didn't hit us. You know, I think we have my lucky charm to thank for that. Oh, a charm? <laughs> oh, it's just a little rabbit's foot I carry around with me. <laughs> Lux. Don't worry, I know he was just trying to say something nice. Like how bunnies are lucky and lovable and good to have around. Otherwise, Gonna chop off he wouldn't have said foot. anything at all. Okay, that's done. So, Fluffy, what exactly do you do around here, anyway? Do? Why, my job is being the cutest little bunny in the whole wide world. My big bunny ears are cute. My little bunny bottom is cute. Why, even my teeny little poops are cute. Oh, Lord. Hooray! Hooray for me! And I'm sure those teeny little poops smell better than flowers, right? Do they ever want to sniff my sweet fluffy bottom? Hey, guess what? No. No! We have just seen sweet little rabbit poops, by the way, in this game. You know King Hugh? Oh, yes. I just love Hugh. Lewis in the news? Me too. Good and wise and happy and good looking. Good looking? He's a giant smiley oh, face. Every bunny is good looking in their own oh, special God, kill me. way. Even you. <laughs> That's nice. Nice is my specialty. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I could be her friend. <clears throat> Even Fluffy Bun Bun so probably wouldn't like so Cedric. Bad about cotton candy, anyway. Well, gee, nothing at all, I guess. It's a pain in the butt Except to make. That I hate cotton candy. I love Whoa. it. It's just pain. Blue raspberry, the best. All right, so Fluffy Bun Bun needs popcorn. See you later, Fluffy. You'll be back soon. It's hard to stay away from such cuteness and charm. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <clears throat> that look. Ooh, corn. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt if I just took one. <laughs> oh boy. Boop. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Hello? Drew, what do you think you're doing? Well, I, I thought maybe, you know. You thought this red clad bundle of straw was alive, didn't you? No. Well, okay, maybe I did. It's not like I haven't seen weirder stuff. <laughs> Oh, Drew, even in my world, the Scarecrow is just a... Hello? Scarecrow. You were saying? Hey, did one of you minxes call me a rag-clad bundle of straw? Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Dreams are the strangest things, aren't they? I had to simply divine one the other day. I was floating high above the world, the wind gently cradling and caressing me as I gracefully swooped and pirouetted in the air. Oh, and through all of it, I was wearing this teal chiffon scarf that was to die for. Oh, it can be really quite devastating waking up from a dream like that, can't it? Uh, yeah. So, Mr. Scarecrow, 
What are you doing here? Just uh, hanging around? <clears throat> Hardly. If you must know, I'm watching over my babies. Your babies? The crows, darling. The crows. Ah, uh, you might want to take another look at your job description. As far as I know, scarecrows are supposed to scare crows. For your information, I am not a scarecrow. I am a carecrow. Who do you oh. think cares for all the little birds? <clears throat> Florence Nightingale. Mm, yeah, sounds about right. And take it from me, bullying birds is one thing, but it takes a much stronger sort to look after them. By the wear and tear from throwing seed alone. Just look at these hands. Are these the hands of the idol? I don't think so, sailor. <sighs> Well, I suppose it's the price I pay for not wearing rubber gloves. But have you seen the gaudy colors those things come in? Yuck. No, thank you. I'd rather my hands fell off at the sleeve than be caught wearing those fashion faux pas. I know, I'm terrible, aren't I? Well, I have to say, you are the smartest dressing scarecrow. I mean, carecrow. I've ever met. Oh, you are a sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, I dig the cloak. It's Trey. Uh, Trade me in. Good. This old thing? Hate it. I call it Cape Fear. It's not like I had any choice in the matter, you know? I'd give anything for a nice new outfit. Actually, I'd give this cloak. I'm afraid it's all I've got. I don't suppose you boys could find it in your hearts? Oh, but no. What am I saying? I've crossed the line. I'm asking much too much. Just tell me. I suppose me. we could help you out. Really? Would you? Am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? We're going clothes shopping for a scarecrow. Tell you what. You give us a cloak and we'll get you a nice sport coat or something. A sport coat? <clears throat> How positively dismal. No, this has to be the right outfit. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Got that? Uh, sure. I know exactly the outfit you need. Yeah, so do I. A straight jacket. So I gather you don't get to the palace much. You gather right, honey. But I do have an occasional chat see with King Hugh. Poor, poor man. I really feel for the guy. It must be rough having your kingdom come under attack. Oh, you big silly. That's the least of his troubles. I mean, just look at his ensemble. Huh? Those baggy royal robes. Ugh, I just cringe. I mean, you'd think a monarch could afford a tailor. Now, if I were king, having impeccable dress sense would be mandatory for all my subjects. Needless to say, I'd lead by example. And believe you me, I'd get tough on those who continue to show poor taste in their wardrobes. I'd rule with a moisturized fist in a cherry velvet glove. Oh, <laughs> what a darling little world that would be, don't you think? Sure, a fashion dictatorship headed up by a straw man? Sounds swell. Yeah, keep being interesting. It must be kind of lonely for a sociable guy like yourself hanging around in this empty cornfield. Yeah, I mean, face it. You could probably talk <coughs> the ears off a corn stalk. Well, you fellas certainly have my number. I do like a good chin wag. Chatting with you is so much fun. I'm having a ball. I feel mm -hmm. I can tell you to anything, everything, and you'd understand. Oh, good. Don't get me wrong, I love my babies. Bless their little feathered hearts. But I'm afraid gossiping with them is a bit of a one-way street, if you know what I mean. To their credit, they are good listeners. And that's very important, as we all know. I mean, don't you just want to scream when you get stuck with someone who goes on and on and on? Yes. And doesn't let you get a word in edgeways? Yes! <laughs> Oh. So if we bring you a new outfit, you'll give us your cloak, right? Honey, for a new outfit, I'll give you my cloak and sing Act Two of West Side Story. Thanks, but we'll just stick with the cloak. So, how does a nice parka sound? A parka? What are you trying to do? Kill me with humiliation? Yes. Slay me with dreariness? Possibly. Oh, the hideous monotony! I can't breathe! Oh my. Okay, no parka. Now, what should we bring? I told you. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place. Nothing too sappy and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top and definitely no cross-dressing. Well, at least he isn't picky. Bye.
Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys. But don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was stereotypical. Oh, my. Super Vegagro. I'm not gonna stick my hand in there. Well, you don't have to stick your... Oh, my God. I think it's broken. We literally have a can. Oh, yuck. All right. Got that. I think it's broken. Looks like some sort of suction device. Uh, uh, Boy, I yeah. sure wouldn't hook myself up to that thing. No way. Uh-uh. You think she'd mind? Uh-huh. I don't think I'll be able to find anything up there. Is anybody home? Just answer yay and nay. Elmer, oh my, he's gonna go to the glue factory. Straight from the horse's mouth. Hello, ladies. Psst, Drew, let me handle this. I'm a whiz with foreign languages. No! Mama be do! Hubba hubba, ring a ding ding, kawabunga! Are you? Speaking to us? Do you? Oh, you must want some butter. I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. None at all. Butter? No, we... You see, the churnitron is broken. <laughs> hey, no big deal. I know how upset you must be. Without butter, life is barely <coughs> worth living. All of Qtopia mourns my pure, sweet, creamery butter. Unhappy day. Unhappy day. But we will soldier on, and you must as well. Courage. Sure. So long, ladies. We have to move along. Move along? Get it? That's a very bad joke. Are they <laughs> making fun of us? Of course not, Polly. These are our friends. Comments like that make me feel like I'm about three feet high. You are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a conscience. Thonius et Ouchum. Ah. That's a Cutopian pepper plant. Paparium sweetus ad nauseum. Ah. I can't pick that pepper while that briar patch is in the way. A nasty looking squirrel. I don't think the squirrel will let me do that. He doesn't want us to have his nuts. The door to the squirrel's treehouse. Zany do. I guess the nut's not up for grabs. I don't think that will work. An empty hand. Or, in other words, my take home pay from Sam Schmaltz, Inc. Okay. Looks like a gear shift. It's a neutral. I just watched a bird splat on there. Uh, nothing. This is getting us nowhere. Well, technically speaking, we're somewhere, but I guess it's not the somewhere you had in mind. I guess the nut's not up for grabs. Hmm. I am missing what I need. I hope it is still there. 
we will see. Bye, fluffy, fluffy bun bun. Please don't talk to me at all. Okay, good. It's still having seizures on the ground. That's good. Alright, now we can go back. <laughs> As it was like twitching on the ground when we came in, it's good to know. transition. I am not shocked at your voice Chuckle. actor. <laughs> Big Bad. Big gotcha. Bad. And practical. Dark and Big Bad is a real mouthful. Another mm. crack like that, my friend. Jim Jones. You will be the mouthful. With whom do I have the treasure of speaking? I kind of I'm sound like a fat cat, because it's the same person. Please do eat. Meet you. I love this uh, game. <laughs> that's person. nice. Anyway, we'd better be going. Stick around the memento, fellas. I got a little flavor to ask you. Oh yeah, See, what's that? I'm having some friends for dinner this evening, and I was hoping you might bring me a bottle of tasteful vino to accompany my rap host. Without my evening glass of wine, I get a little testes if you snatch my drift. Uh -huh. Hey, I can feel a little testes myself when the mood takes me. Consider your drift firmly snatched, Mr. Wolf. Please, call me BB. I persist. <laughs> I persist. All right, BB. Be sure to keep an eye out for some wine. Uh, pardon me, friends, but I do believe there's been a small incommunicado. See, I'm not asking you to keep an eye out. I'm telling you to get I'm it. telling you to bring me some stinking wine if you want to get through these woods alive. Okay. Good. Now I want to wish you and your friend good luck in your missionary. That's real big of you, BB. Of course. Everything about me is big. That's funny. I was just thinking, what big eyes you've got. All the better for seeing how you ain't got my wine yet. Get going. Now! <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> okay. I love the, like, evil turned squirrel or whatever from the Bray. <laughs> He's like super pissed. Okay, so. Here's our concussioned mouse friend. The hand's already full. Well, that's probably that's the one I want to put it in. Now, let's see what this does. Sorry, little fella, but it's time to wake up and smell the fertilizer. Oh, it's a smelling salt. Groovy. That's the most ridiculous contraption I've ever seen. Of course it is. It's the Zany Do Shuttle. Because it's Zany, get it? Zany. <laughs> We're going to there we go. We love going to Zany Do. Are we there yet? Oh, we're here. Zany Do. Where seldom is heard an intelligible word and the mango and diesel souffle. Your national anthem? Yup. Home on the range. Uh huh. I might go crazy. That's the outhouse. That path on the right is the way to whack me. Say what? Okay, let's uh, let's go to lower zany do. Hmm. 
Whoa! Up oh, it changed. There we go. Free fall gift o -matic. Mind if I use a gift machine? I certainly do, friend. That machine is for our paying customers. But I am a paying customer. Don't you remember? Just the other day, when I bought all that stuff. No, but I'll tell you what, son. <laughs> Just show me that whack me stuff you're talking about, and I'll be happy to let you use our fine machine. Hi there, guys. He's Warp. I'm Wood. Welcome to Whack Me. Welcome to Whack Me. Great place you have here. Oh, Whack Me is just kind of a natural extension of Warp and Me's hobby, see? What hobby is that? Beating the living crap out of each other for grins. <laughs> One day we realized, hey, here we are beating the living crap out of each other. But what's <laughs> in it for us? And then Warp said, you know what? Wouldn't all self-respecting zanies just give their eye teeth for the opportunity to beat the living crap out of each other with the same <laughs> style and finesse as us? Well, actually, Warp just kind of chuckled this weird... Can we have Cedric come in here and get beat up? And so, Wackme was born. I love this. A few so much. by the experts. Exactly. We can put our names on Wackme products. Wackme product. Because we tested every item personally over and over <laughs> on each other. On each other. What's that machine in the corner? That little beauty is the one and only free fall gift to matter. Just push the button to start it, then stop it at the gift you want by pushing the button again. It's our little way of saying a big thank you to our valued paying customers. <laughs> You're obviously a shrewd businessman. There's some... Hey, we saw Mark <laughs> I feel like I'm in Ren and Stimpy right now. You do, turn around and you step on someone who needs an end. It's been a while since I was in here. Anything new? <laughs> Anything new? You hear that, Warp? <laughs> Anything new? Are you kidding, mister? You turn around, we got something new every day. I thought it was... Turn around, you step on somebody who needs an anvil. Don't get smart, son. Stay the way you are. So, what is new? Our latest prototypes are in the case there. Uh, they aren't for sale just yet. <laughs> but we'd be more than happy to demonstrate them for you. Can you demonstrate the boxing glove? We'd love to see a demonstration of that boxing glove. Right away, customer satisfaction is our middle name. Let me guess, turn around, you step on another satisfied customer. Correct. Now listen up. With the simple press of a button, this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull. The chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every time. Crush all you want, folks. This glove is built to outlast your victim's heads blow after blow after beautiful blow. Observe. Note the quality of our genuine synthetic leather. Oh, his whole. Oh my! Give me. I'm sure he has plenty more where these came his from. His brain. His brain. Okay, he's good. But his brain, like, go dead. By gone. Hi guys, how's business? Painful. Uh, glad to hear. Painful. It. Okay, I want to see one more. We'll see more later. I got we got other things to do. This is not your garden variety squirting flower. Squirting flower. Sprinkle your buddy with plain old water when you can douse him with an. You could take a one of them owls and catch it on fire, and make it die. Show him more. <laughs> Could you demonstrate one of those cigars? Absolutely, but be You can warned, give that Ken no a guy from that cigar. Police Quest game, you can really give him the cancer with this cigar. cigar. Smoking this sucker is real bad for your health. Best of all, it's guaranteed to go off in your mouth, not in your hands. Check it out. <laughs> okay, 
we'll, we'll go and do them all. Powder looks interesting. That's our patented shake and flake itching powder. Sure, lots of stuff can make you itch, but our powder has a special added ingredient, Lepro C. I guarantee it'll give you a lot more than a little tangle. <laughs> Ready, War? <laughs> shake and flake <laughs> with leprosy. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, his, his leg came off! <laughs> Again, his head came off. Oh, that's... that's... that's fatal. <laughs> oh god. Well... Well, guys. I'm afraid we have to get going. I always hate to see our friends leave, especially when they haven't bought anything. Come again soon. Well, we'll I'm sure we'll be back. There. That should do it. Who's there? It is I, your malevolence. A thousand pardons, but I have detected a new presence in Qtopia. I don't have time for more news of rabbits. I have work. This is no rabbit. I've never sensed any creature quite like this before. I see. Is it, um, dangerous? It seems harmless. So far. Good, good, but keep watching it. I'm not in the mood for meddlers. I need time to recharge the machine for my next strike. Yes, my liege. Oh, Tim Curry. Let's go to Upper Zanny. Zany. Zany. It said Xanadu. Oh, it's a safe that clearly is. This place gives me, like, throat cancer for some reason. Jim's Jim! Zany Doo's fitness center and designated drop zone for doggy doo doo. Talking to do. An advertisement for a whack me contest. Oh, call now for your free prize. Blue purple. Okay. Congratulations. If you call our hotline and give all the right answers to our nearly impossible questions, we'll say you have won whack me's. Not everyone's a winner contest. A free whack me product is yours today. In the unlikely event that you answer all of our questions correctly. That's right, there are absolutely no strings attached, except you have to correct you have to correctly answer every last one of our maniacally different questions. Frankly, we, we doubt today is your lucky day. Call now for your free prize or at least a bunch of questions. Excuse me, sir. Outhouse security. I'll have to ask you gentlemen to step away from the rest facility. Oh, yeah? Or else what? Citizens in my capacity as an outhouse security professional, this flushing establishment and its surroundings are within my jurisdiction. In short, from where you stand, I am the law. As such, I am authorized to deal with scoundrels, gangsters, charlatans, miscreants, rats, and golden shell or all of the troublemakers as I see fit. This would include mercilessly beating you about the head with the shovel. I think we better just do whatever he says. I swear, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a pitiful coward, I'd step back a few feet and flip him off. Big time! It, 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 it's, it's a, it, it's a gold shell. Let me get this straight. You're guarding this outhouse? Correct. No one is allowed inside until the clock strikes the end of my shift. Zany do penal code section 7 subparagraph 12. But what if it's a, you know, an emergency? A fish flushing emergency? Fish flushing? Well, yeah. What else would we do in there? Sir, I would caution you that entering an outhouse for any reason other than to flush fish would be considered toileting with intent, <laughs> for which I can and will cause you pain. Hey, what else would we do in there? Right, flux? I don't want to know. Uh... Keep breaking so the ice. We really can't go inside. We promise not to make a mess. You can either go inside and make a mess, nor go inside and not make a mess. Well, what about making a mess and then going inside? The Zany Duke clock will signal the end of my shift. At that point, and not a second earlier, you and your friend will be free to fish flush. Boy, that is one dedicated security guard. I'll say. No, I mean really dedicated. The Zany Duke clock is broken. It hasn't chimed in years. Jeez. That's a hell of a shift. I'll bet he's pooped. Hmm. <laughs> or he could have pooped. He's probably tired. Uh-huh. 
Ugh, we don't even know what time your shift ends. Can you just slip away and take a quick look at the clock? And see if your shift is over? I can't leave my post to look at clocks, civil code section 8, part... But, if you checked the clock and it really was fish flushing time, then you wouldn't actually have left your post. Because, technically, you would have already been off duty. Am I right? Could you repeat that? Just what kind of idiot do you two think I am? Oh, sorry, I had to step away for a moment. Zenidu Civil Code Section 5, subparagraph 25. In the unlikely event that the Zanidu clock is broken, an outhouse security professional may be relieved from his duties by the commode commandant. The commandant is easily identified by his purple complexion and green glasses. Officer, and hut, I'm relieving you from your duties. Dismissed. As an outhouse security professional, I am exposed on a daily basis to the scum of this world, to the dregs of society, and by this I mean, of course, the general public. There isn't a scam, swindle, or sting I haven't seen, heard, or smelled, so I find your commode commandant routine painfully transparent. P.S. Any future attempt to pose as an outhouse security officer, senior, or otherwise will result in the prompt insertion of my fist into your eye socket. <laughs> Lieutenant Blank, ten hut, retreat! Okay. Officer, I just want you to know we're both very impressed by the fine job you're doing here. Thank you, citizen. Now please, move along and... However, I, I think it's only fair to inform you that the clock you've been waiting to hear strike the end of your shift. You know, so you can go home to your loved ones, maybe get a little rest, watch a ball game. Well, it's broken. It hasn't chimed in years. Years! So you see, your shift was over a long, long time ago. Zany Du Penal Code Section 3, Subparagraph 17. No citizen shall knowingly deceive or otherwise mislead, defraud, hoodwink, or dupe an outhouse security professional in the course of his, her, or its duty. Hey, I have never hoodwinked. I wouldn't dream of duping. Or said security professional shall raise a big hairless bump on the aforementioned citizen's noggin and or noggins. <laughs> and or noggins. Uh, have a nice day, officer. Yeah, a nice never-ending day. We have to go, but before we do, I want you to know that talking to you has been like beating my head against a brick wall. Only more so. Thank you, citizen. It's been a pleasure thwarting your illicit activities. Uh huh. That path on the road. That's the way, the to, way whack to whack me. me. Say what? Say what? Stop. Just stop. Okay. Paper with a message. Deposit in fish bowl. Stand by for excitement. Toggle fish launcher to initiate flood folks on the Oh, we we have the yeah whatever fish. A medium rarity, not bad. The mother of all fish flushes you win. Okay. okay. Looks like the toilet is clogged. Can't fish flush with a clogged toilet. No way, no how. Okay, well, something else we can't do yet. Uh, I'm gonna save gems for a later time, because I don't need to do anything yet. And it kind of 
let's let's start moving things in a forward direction. Okay. All right, so we need to go to the pub where the phone is because we got the callers for that trivia game. Where's the path? Okay. Everyone ignore Fluffy Bun Bun and pretend that Cedric is here instead. Probably be a little more positive environment. I just realized something. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, I was gonna say, what? I can't remember. Definitely yellow. Question three. Besides white, what color is Warp's fur? Uh. Question four. What color fish can be found on the right shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? That would be red. Question five. What color is Wolf's collar? It's green. Uh. Okay. Whew. And our final question is on the Zany Do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to Jim's gym? Be blue. Actually, I think I just fucked that up. Oh, no, I got it. Your fabulous whack me prize should be arriving right now. Where is it? Did I get it? There it is. What me jumping beans? <laughs> Every time I see her face, it's so priceless like that. <laughs>
That moved while we were gone. Okay. Let's wait for this one. There we go. I believe these whack me jumping beans prove that I'm a paying customer. Why, yes, they do. Help yourself to the gift o -matic. She's all yours. Woohoo! No cigar this time, friend, but we do have a consolation prize. Hope this makes you feel better. Ow. Well, I'm glad that didn't kill me in, like, the Sierra game. I lose again. I don't want to be greedy. No prize is necessary, really. I'm afraid I just don't have the heart to deprive you of this. Taking home our top prize. A whack me mega magnet with our patented no slip grip. Easy on off switch and more pull than your local elected official. Thank you. You, my friend, are the lucky winner of a whack me ultimallet. Pound for pound, the best quality bludgeoning device in existence today. And let's get the hand. Congratulations, chum. Let's give this guy a hand. Or at least a glove. All right, we have all three. All righty, one last... Well, it's actually this video... Perfectly round butthole. Bet you that'll be used for something later. Perfectly round butthole. In the next episode, we'll uh, we'll go back to the uh, the farm and see if we can't fix the uh, churnatron. So this has been Chris from the Gaming Corner playing Toonstruck. Thanks for watching. Bye.